I get solicited for a lot of, you know, marketing opportunities and uh, lists and things like that. And I don't respond to the majority of them, but this one caught my eye, so I thought I'd talk about it. Tom, we are presenting you with our annual edition of Manage Network Services, in which we will presenting the top 10 managed network service companies of 2019. I should feel honored, right? I have been selected. Uh, George from Enterprise Networking Magazine offered me this opportunity because apparently through some criteria not listed here, I was selected to be the top 10 list for Managed Service Drivers 2019. That sounds exciting. And before you pat me on the back, I don't get to be in the top 10 until... Do, 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 do. We would like to provide reprint branding packages to Lawrence Technology Service for $3,000. These benefits include rights to reproduction of the content, reprints published in the edition, which will be based on a telephonic interview. I like to use telephonic as a word <laughs> with your CEO, senior management. Lawrence Technology will also receive a certificate honor and the logo of top 10 managed network service providers of 2019, which can be utilized in your marketing activities. The article will be hosted on our website, hyperlink to Lawrence Technology Services website, one full page advertisement, which can be used as an upcoming edition of Enterprise Network Magazine within the next six months. And I thought this was just kind of weird. Like, if you want to interview me because you think I did something cool, awesome, or technology I've done, or things I've talked about, probably if you found me anywhere, it's from this YouTube channel. But I mean, to honor me, uh, and then with a $3,000 offer of buying ad space on your magazine, so I'll get in the top 10 list doesn't make me really want to be in your magazine. Because if you can just buy your position into the magazine by throwing $3,000 at it, why? It suddenly doesn't carry much weight. And I know most consumers are assuming magazines are done with a traditional ad model of they find advertisers that would like to advertise in their magazine that supports the funds for the journalists to go out and do their research and figure out which companies they did something interesting readers want to read about. That's generally how magazines media works here in 2018 and has worked for quite a while in this business model. But there are companies, and apparently, drag this on over here, Enterprise Networking being among them, where your top 10 list, I don't know what anymore is a top 10 list that is bought and paid for or what is a actual, you know, interesting article you wrote because someone did something interesting supported by other ads. Like I said, I'm not trying to dog on the magazine or anything like that. I'm just kind of pointing out it's interesting to me that they offered it this way. And, you know, George sent this unsolicited email. Therefore, I don't mind sharing his name. He took the time to find me. So I'm taking the time to share it with you. And this is one of the things I want to make sure people think about. And I just, I couldn't possibly give you an entire list of this, but you know, how many magazines aren't all that valid? This is why it's so hard to find good reviews. And this is one of the reasons I really you know, try hard on YouTube. And I, I'm not the only one I see a lot of people doing. It's like to give reviews a product because one, I wasn't paid to review the product. I'm talking about our wor- real world usage of it. And, you know, this is because the magazine model, when they allow companies to sponsor them and then they brag about how good the company is, you're like, well, your person that's sponsoring it is, is getting a brag thing there. Suddenly you are no longer objective about your review of something. And I, I don't know what criteria was used to put me in such a big list. I'm by far not the biggest MSP out there. I feel as though we do a good job and I'm proud of my company and we have very happy clients, but I don't know that we did anything so significant in the MSP space um, that would put me in a top 10 list. I'm certainly not the top 10 biggest by far. There's numerous ones right here in Michigan that are bigger than me um, and maybe our customer service. But how would you objectively understand it? You'd have to interview all of my clients, which I don't have a list and no one's ever asked me for it. It, it just becomes very confusing and, you know, hey, cool, I like bragging rights that I was in a magazine, but I don't want it to be there because I was just paid money to get on the top 10 list. I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there and I'm going to title this uh, Top 10 List Enterprise Magazine. I just want people to know if you see that top 10 list, it was because it was, well, at least they, my offer was $3,000. Maybe they vary the amount they charge per people. And because that's the first email sent unsolicited, I don't feel as though I'm disclosing anything that wasn't just randomly emailed to me by George. However, he acquired my email address. Not that it's rocket science to figure out my email address. I didn't reach out to him. George reached out to me. So that's about it. 
not really a rant video, but just kind of one of those eye-opening videos. It, it happens a lot in the industry. I've seen this before over the years. I've been in business where companies uh, drop that hint. Well, yeah, if you want to buy a big ad space with us, we'll find a good article to write about you. I kind of like the more traditional model where it's actual journalism. They do research. They find something interesting that are that your, their user base would be interested in, and they find brands that would want to target the same audience that would read said article. That's the more traditional media model and it becomes more subjective that way because once you start tying the person being interviewed to the person paying you, you're probably going to do nothing but say nice things about them, their product or whatever it is you're talking about. All right, thanks. Oh, and one last thing, uh, George sent this over. Uh, this is apparently a draft of a certificate I would receive if I had bought their package for marketing. Um, George apparently couldn't be bothered to even pull the logo off my website or my anywhere. Uh, so they just kind of have this poorly kerned uh, Lawrence Technology Services, probably some template that comes from the marketing. And this was a PDF he attached and sent. Yeah, that's uh, now I'm going to make this the thumbnail because <laughs> this is kind of funny. I don't know. It doesn't look good. Look at the kerning on this. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content from my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell icon and hopefully YouTube will send you a notice. If you're interested in contracting Lawrence Systems for any type of IT services work or consulting work, go ahead and head over to lawrencesystems.com and fill out our contact and get in touch with us. If you would like to help the channel out in other ways, you can use our affiliate links below in the description, or we have a link directly to our Lawrence Systems page where we have a list of different affiliate offers, and it's very appreciated if you use any of those for signing up any of the services, and many of them offer you discounts. If you want to head over to our forums, there'll be a link in the description for our forums, uh, wherever they may be, because we've been looking at different forum platforms, but they'll always be relevantly linked right there. All right, once again, thanks. Leave some feedback and comments below on this video. If you loved it, if you hated it, I try to reply to everyone, the people who hate and the people who love them. So thank you very much and see you next time.